Hi, I'm Fairy, and today on Naked Skin Care, I want to continue talking about exfoliation. Now, I've talked about how important exfoliation is, and I've also talked about the difference between physical and cellular or chemical exfoliation. So today I want to go into a bit more detail about physical exfoliation. And physical exfoliation is just what it sounds like. It's when you take a physical object to literally scrape or smooth away the dead skin layers from your epidermis. Now these can be devices or they can be uh, products. Now in terms of devices, it could be something like um, a facial scrubber. This one actually has my body brush on it. Uh, this is the Michael Todd Sonic Elite. This is what uh, I use. Uh, I use it both in the shower for my body and I use the brush on my face. And I can tell you that the first time I used it, I went to my husband and I went, I feel my face. And he did and went, wow. In fact, he liked it so much that I bought him his own for Christmas and said, if you just use it once a week, it'll make a difference in your skin. And he went, I can do that. So yeah, something like this. There are also uh, what they call skin scrubbers. These are designed to vibrate in a way that help to shake things out of the pores, but they also physically scrape as they're being used. They're called uh, skin scrubbers or scrapers, and there's a lot of different brands, not terribly expensive. You can also do something like dry brushing, and literally this is just a brush that you dry brush, and as I'm doing it, I can see my skin flaking away. So it works. Uh, body brushes that you use in the shower. Uh, washcloths. Uh, washcloths come everywhere from super soft to coarse. A coarser washcloth is going to do exfoliation. Literally, exfoliation could be done with your fingernail. You could scrape it away. It'd be kind of tedious and not very even. But that's what physical exfoliation is. There's all kinds of devices out there, and the big thing right now is sonic devices. I have to tell you I love them. I don't I don't think anybody could ever have too many sonic devices. It just makes the world a happier place. That's my personal thing though. The other thing are facial scrubs, and these are uh, products, usually creamy products that have little tiny granules in them. And these can be anywhere from little, what they call microbeads, to uh, physical products, uh, ground up uh, natural botanicals that do it. Uh, the big difference uh, is the evenness of the grains and the grain size. The finer and more even these grains are, uh, the better it is for your skin. If you have uneven grains in something, if they're larger, they can tear your skin. The thing is, people love physical exfoliation. For most people, it feels good. The scrubby products, I love them. They feel good, they tend to smell good. I just, I love them. What I don't love, they are difficult to rinse off. Uh, if I'm in the shower, that's the easiest, but uh, they're difficult. There are, there are times that I've used a physical exfoliation, I have rinsed my face. I have I have on my bathroom sink my faucet actually detaches so I can use it like a little fountain. I've done that. I've wiped it off with my washcloth. I've done my toner. I've done my essence. I've done my serums. And I get all the way to the end to my facial oil and I'm still feeling little grains. Uh, they can be really difficult to uh, get off and to me that's the biggest negative of them. That said, I still like to use them. But again, this is a way to exfoliate the dead skin cells off of the surface of your skin. Again, lots of ways, devices, scrubs. Uh, if you like this, go for it. If you don't like doing something like that, there is another way, uh, the uh, cellular or chemical exfoliant, and we're gonna be talking about that in the next video so that you know your options. But always remember, exfoliation is an important part of skincare, and healthy skin is part of a healthy body.